Hi there. I think most leaders, regardless of how long they've dealt with um, their particular employees, would be shocked to learn some of the strengths and talents that their team possesses. The reason they don't know about it is because people don't always volunteer that sort of information uh, in the workplace. They don't necessarily think it's applicable, even though there might be an application to it. I, I always go back to two jobs that I had very early on in high school and college. My first job was being a swim instructor. Well now, I don't put that on my resume because it was way back in high school and I've got a whole bunch of other things to talk about on my resume. But if you needed somebody to train somebody on something, wouldn't it be nice to know that they had three years of experience instructing people on doing a particular task? Likewise. I also did some uh, time in college unloading containers of potatoes and corn, big 50 pound boxes um, of things and working on a loading dock. And if you needed somebody to work in the warehouse or oversee something on a loading dock, that would be something else that would be interesting background knowledge. But again, that was something I would never put on a resume because it wasn't applicable necessarily to my specific job description. Discovering these little peripheral talents and these peripheral strengths that your team has can be enormously impactful to the overall success of the organization, your department, the productivity that you guys produce, etc. So what I always recommend is to bring your employees in and ask them some simple questions. First, what do you like to do? It's, it's always nice to know what they like to do. They might be successful in certain areas, but what is it that they enjoy, to, enjoy doing? And do they enjoy doing that outside of work? Now, this isn't an interview setting where there's certain legal parameters that you have to follow. These are people that are already employed by you. What do they enjoy doing at work? outside of work. You know, what are they particularly good at? Again, what do they feel that they are good at? Because they are most likely drawn to what they're successful at. So if they feel they are good at something at their job, they're likely, they likely have an affinity for it. Ask them what wasn't on their resume and what their first jobs were in high school and in college. Because again, people have options back then and so they'll naturally be drawn to things that they have an affinity for. Yes, they might get some tedious job just to get the money, but a lot of people you can find hidden talents, hidden inclinations with what their first jobs were. Um, and then furthermore, just anything else that they've done, any other skills that they've, they've acquired outside of the workplace. And just phrase this as, as a simple conversation conversation trying to understand everybody's talents and strengths and stuff doesn't necessarily come up in regular day-to-day -day work and so this is why you're having this conversation. But it gives you an enormous amount of background into your people, helps you manage them better, and helps you uncover more strengths of your team which is going to make you and the team more productive. Thanks and have a good one.